friends and welcome back to the Rolla Public Library. Today is week seven on the summer reading program and our story time today is going to be Raven. It's Raven, a trickster tale from the Pacific Northwest. You guys ready to start? Let's get started. Raven came. All the world was in darkness. The sky above was in darkness. The waters below were in darkness. Men and women lived in the dark and cold. Raven was sad for them. He said, I will search for light. Raven flew across valleys and across mountains. He flew along rivers and over lakes. There was darkness all around. Then he saw a bit of light far away. He flew and he flew and came closer to the light. The light was at the edge of the water. See it back here, guys? It's real light right there. The light came from the house of the Sky Chief, and it was shining. Raven perched right in the pine trees on the shore. Raven watched. He saw a beautiful young girl emerge from the shining house. And go, and go to the edge of the water. She was the Sky Chief's daughter. She knelt and drank some water from a woven basket. Raven changed himself into a pine needle. He fell down from the tree and floated on the water. When the girl drank again, she swallowed the pine needle. It's right here, you see her swallowing it? I wonder what's gonna happen. After a time, the girl gave birth to a child. The child was small and dark with shiny black hair and tiny black eyes. What do you think the child was? What do you guys think? Let's find out. It was Raven. Raven had been reborn as a boy child. The Sky Chief was delighted with his daughter's child. He called him Grandchild. He played with the boy and carved toys for him. He invited the elders to come and see the curious, wonderful child. The elders gathered in the shining house with the sky chief and his daughter. They watched Raven Child crawl around the floor of the lodge. He pretended to be playing all the time. He was trying to find where the light was hidden. He saw a box in the corner of the lodge. The box was large. It was carved and painted with many colors. The box was bright. It glowed. Ravenchild said, Ga ga. What do you want? asked his mother. Ravenchild said, Ga ga. He began to cry. What does the child want? asked the elders. Ravenchild said, Ga ga. He cried and cried. My grandchild wants the box, said Sky Chief. The young woman placed the box in front of Ravenchild, but he continued to cry. She took the lid off the box. Inside was a smaller box. She took the lid off that box. Inside was a smaller box. His mother took the lid off that box and light poured out of it. Light flooded the room. Inside the box was a shining ball blazing with light. What do you think the ball was? What do you guys think? Hmm. It was the sun. Give him the ball, said Sky Chief. His mother gave Ravenchild the ball. Ravenchild stopped crying. He began to play with it. He rolled it around the floor of the lodge. Ga ga. Then he changed into a bird. Ha ha. He became Raven once again. Call, call, he says. Sky Chief, his daughter, and the elders looked all in amazement. Raven plucked up the ball of light in his beak, flew through the smoke hole of the lodge, and disappeared into the dark sky. Raven flew over the valley and the mountains. He flew along the rivers and along the lakes. Raven threw the sun high in the sky, and it stayed there. This is how Raven stole the sun and gave it to all the people. And why do the people always feed Raven? To thank him for bringing them light. And now it's always light out. 
That was it, the end. That was a really good story. Did you guys like that story? What was your favorite part? I like that part too. So for your craft today, you guys are actually going to make the raven bird. Isn't that pretty cool? We're gonna use a lot of shapes on this one. I also included a template in your grab bag that you will trace onto the black paper. And then your templates, you're gonna have three of these. It's gonna be red, yellow, um, and orange. And then your kids will get to cut the different shapes out and place them around to make the picture. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun. I sure enjoyed it and I get to see you next time. Bye-bye.